is NBC Right Now Local News at 6. Well, in other news tonight, October, of course, is a Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Yes, it is. And today we have a unique story of a woman who was diagnosed less than a year ago, and you won't believe how she found her doctor. Mackenzie Maynard has tonight's encouraging story. Connie was diagnosed with breast cancer in March. You know, you, you, you're told that you have cancer, you're always in denial. Even through the three surgeries, I was in denial. Luckily, they found it in its earliest stages, and because her family doesn't have a history of it, she went looking for a second opinion. I was on uh, Facebook, and I ran across a couple of my colleagues that had liked him, and I saw this article. That's when she found Dr. Luenda. Uh, Facebook. And so uh, that's, uh, that's pretty much how she found me. Oh, what stood out to Connie Christina. was his way yeah. of incorporating she, uh, integrative heard, um, oncology. Well, Basically, he laid out multiple options and tried to explain her circumstance as clear as he could. I was able to follow him quite easily to understand what was going on and where I was going. And it didn't seem so bad after all. It seemed safe. She had 15 radiation treatments. The middle school special education teacher is back in the classroom with her students. Cancer free, and she's got big plans for the future. Yeah. See some Celts and some pretty land and Ireland, and see what all that is uh, enough to make me motivate me to eat well and exercise and uh, study something just for me. She's going to Scotland. Well, I wanted to, but I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have uh, uh, thought that I need to do that. Uh, I wouldn't have thought that I. Uh, uh, you know, had the money or the time or the effort, but now it's like not a, really a choice. It's like we're going to do this. And that's the attitude that yeah. turns a cancer patient into a survivor. Truly inspiring. And in fact, the past couple of months, obviously, she's had to plan her Scotland trip, but she also got a new puppy. So Aww. I guess that's what we can all take away from it is don't wait for a diagnosis to start living your yeah. life joyfully. We yeah. can all take some uh, notes out of her book, I think. Yeah, um, and, they, and they say, too, that planning a vacation is actually the best way to de-stress because all the planning and the excitement that goes in is a great way to kind of calm down and everything. So. And then when that's over, she goes and looks at her little puppies. So, yeah, perfect. Uh, what a great story. Thank you, Mackenzie. Thank you.